God damn it, I feel so ashamed. Uh, Blake Lively. A girl from Texas in the movie spoke more Spanish than me in my entire lifetime in less than an hour and a half. It's just... <laughs> This can't be happening! Wow, how does this happen? Okay, so the Shallows. So the Shallows follows a story of medical student named Nancy, and after a life-changing event that occurs within her family, she is influenced to surf on a secluded beach in Mexico where nobody can find her. And all seems to be going according to plan. She's catching some waves, she's meeting Mexican dudes like me, until she gets attacked by a great white shark who's really determined to make sure that she doesn't make it to shore alive. With Nancy stuck on a small island 200 yards away from shore and the clock ticking from the island succumbing to a high tide, Nancy finds herself in the ultimate battle of man, or should I say, woman, against nature. Now, The Shallows is directed by Wame Call It Sarah. I think that's how you say his name. But uh, he's the director of such films like Nonstop, Run All Night, Orphan, and a bunch of other films that are actually pretty cool. Like mostly everybody else, I was pretty excited for The Shallows because the marketing was awesome, the trailers were edited masterfully, and Blake Lively. You gotta love some Blake Lively. Just from the trailers alone, I felt like this was gonna be THE movie to kill dumb movies like Sharknado and a bunch of other B-list movies about sharks that ultimately turns them into jokes. And I feel like The Shallows is THE movie to do that. I had such a great time with it. One of the many positives I have to give to the film is that it's short, sweet, and to the point. The film's total runtime is about 87 minutes long, it's very short, mind you, but it actually works really well. Because it would be pretty difficult to make a two hour plus long movie all set in one location, but The Shallows, for what they had, was a very simple premise as simple premises get. The girl surfs, she gets attacked by a shark, she gets stuck on an island, the clock is ticking, the girl has to find a way to make it back to shore before her ass gets eaten. I mean, the premise like that just turns it into a very intense thriller. Just one thing after another was happening to Blake Lively, and you're just like, God damn, girl, can your situation become any worse? And when you thought it couldn't, it absolutely does. Which just adds to the intensity and the thriller aspect to the film because while she has the shark to deal with, she's dealing with her emotional and physical state as you felt the stakes were high for the survival of her character. I mean, things absolutely went downhill for Blake Lively. Mother Nature played no games in making sure that she got fucked up, and she did. And another thing too, this is probably one of the better performances from Blake Lively because she kind of had that Tom Hanks from Castaway thing going where she was acting by herself most of the time. But when she is by herself, she makes sure that you feel the pain and suffering just like her character because ultimately you root for her to get out of this predicament. That's what Blake Lively and the script by Anthony Jaswinski established very well in The Shallows, a character in where you begin to care about her even before the incident happens and when it does, you care about her making it to shore safe and sound. Of course, this shark isn't going down without a fight to make sure that he's got some Blake Lively for dinner. This shark did not play games. Well, I mean, it did play games, but the shark did it in a way where it seemed like he was trying to lure Blake Lively off of that small island. This shark was a smart dude. It's a weird to say that the shark is one of the best villains of 2016, it was pretty sad considering a creature gave a more daring performance than most of these villains this year. It was easily the feature actor alongside Blake Lively's seagull friend. And speaking of the shark, there were scenes in which it implemented CGI. I mean, it kind of had to considering it would have been impossible to do some of the crazy shit it does in the movie. But when it does, it actually looks pretty terrible. I mean, it's kind of expected since it does have a $17 million budget when you hire actors like Blake Lively and her show-stealing seagull friend. However, when the shark gets more screen time, the movie takes an unrealistic turn towards the end that kind of took me out of the film a little bit. It got pretty silly. It went from a suspense thriller to cheesy one-liners in an 80s action blockbuster. The sudden shift of tone was weird. But overall, despite the dumb ending, I really had a great time with this film because I say if you want to see The Shallows, it's definitely worth seeing at the high matinee price. Kind of sad how the shark movie is a lot better than the alien invasion movie starring Jeff Goldblum. How does that happen? Okay guys, have you seen The Shallows? and what did you think about it and what is your favorite shark film? That's the question we're going for. But hopefully it's Jaws. Whatever it is, leave it down below. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all that social media shit down below. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, may the force be with you.